What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 20 minute stretch for stiff joints. So grab your mat and have a seat, let's get started. What's up guys, I'm so excited that you're here to stretch it out with me. If you are tight or sore in any of your muscles or joints, this stretch is gonna benefit you. Also, I wanna challenge you to use this stretch, not just today, but a couple more times this week to keep making sure you're progressive in your recovery and not just reactively stretching or reactively icing sore muscles, but be proactive in the way that you're moving throughout the week, post-workout, or maybe when you wake up, or maybe to help you get to sleep, okay? So, let me know in the comments below when you finish this stretch and that you accept the challenge to do a couple more times this week using this stretch, okay? Don't forget, in the description, lots of info. I've got the Fitcation coming up in about four days from now if you're watching this video live and I cannot wait guys make sure you check out grab your tickets there for the boot camp or the whole weekend come and join me work out with me hang out with me here in Charlotte and I would love 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 to have you all right let's go ahead and get started take a big deep breath for me there we go all right one more just relax your mind all right, we're gonna start down at the bottom here with our ankles. So I want you to come up, turn your toes out about 45 degrees, and you're gonna lift your heels one at a time. In three, two, one, here we go. Lift. You're gonna work on pushing your ankle forward towards your toes. Okay, we're working on joints in the feet and in your ankle. Okay, and as you start to move your feet, maybe you wanna close your eyes. Any point in the stretch you want to close your eyes, I'll be talking you through it. So just breathe deep. Okay. Let's go one more each foot. Good. Shift your weight over to the right leg. Come up onto your left toe and give me some circles. And rotate your ankle a little bit here. Good. And switch directions. Doesn't have to be fast. And if you want to just lift your foot off the ground, you can do that too. There you go, feels nice, huh? We gotta give our feet some attention. We tend to neglect them when we think about muscles and joints. There you go, shift your weight over to the other leg. Same thing, circle it around. Breathe deep. Switch directions. Great job. Perfect, all right, make your way back to the back of your mat for me. Feet are almost to the edges, just a little bit wider than your hips. Walk your hands down your legs. All right, and then slowly walk them out about three steps until you're in a pike position. Okay, we're gonna exercise these ankles just a little bit more, moving up into your calves and your knees. Pedaling your heels down one at a time, and then forcing yourself way up onto that opposite toe. There you go. Great job. Force your other heel down, down, down. Good, now let's go a little bit deeper. Push, push, there you go. Really push your limits here today with the way that you're feeling. Good, all right, both feet are back down on the floor. Come up onto your toes and back to your heels. Five more times. And good. Push your heels back down to the mat. Scoot your hands over to the right side of your mat and then swing your left leg up out front, dropping your back knee down, okay? First thing I want you to do is just bend and flatten your foot, okay? Bend, flatten that back leg. Just work on exercising the hamstring just a little bit. Good. Now push those back toes into the ground. Lift your leg off the floor and sink a little bit deeper. Okay, you've still got your hands up here for support. Push this hip down towards the floor. Open up your chest. Good, drop your knee down. Relax for a second. And lift it up one more time. Push the hips down to the floor. 
Open up your chest now, sink a little lower. Beautiful, all right, take that foot back into high plank. Shift your hands over and we're gonna make room on the other side for the opposite foot. Okay, knee down on the floor, let's pull and flatten. Okay, just get your knee joint moving. Three, two, and one. Push your toes down onto the floor, lift your knee off, and then push your hips down, down, down. Good, look up, open up your chest a little, sink a little bit deeper here with this hip. And good, relax for just a second. And let's go one more time. Tuck your toes down, push the hip down and lift your knee up. Good, and drop your knee down again. I want you to bring both knees down. I'm gonna turn forward here. I want you to take them out wide, okay? I want you to shift side to side, sitting back over one ankle, middle, back over the other ankle. Okay, now I want you to stop on the right side, right over here. Good, sink nice and low again. You're working on inner thigh and your hip here. And let's switch it over to the other side. Same thing. Sit down deep in that hip. Good. One more time over to the other side. And we're back over to the other side. One last time here. Great job, shift it back over to the right side for me and straighten your left leg out to the side, turning your toe over. And now I want you to reach over with your right hand. Okay, you should feel really good stretch right in here. Okay, if you can't reach over there yet, just lean your chest over to face your toes, supporting yourself on the ground here in front of your leg. Get back in and let's switch legs, same thing. Okay, you're on your knee here, other leg is straight, flipping your toe up to face the ceiling. You're gonna walk over towards that shin and if you can, take your left arm and reach to your right toe. Great job. Reach over a little further. Beautiful. All right, come back into the middle. Bring both knees back underneath of you. Okay, I'm gonna roll back onto your toes, lifting your hips up, stepping out nice and wide on your mat. So now we're up onto our feet. Toes are pointing straight forward. You're gonna bend one leg at a time, just slightly shifting the weight over to that bent leg side. Okay, shove your hips way back. And try to push your belly button down to the floor as you stretch. There you go, feel it a little bit deeper. So you're anteriorly rotating your hips. Close your eyes if you need to. Shift back over to the right. And back over to the left. Good, come back into the middle. I want you to hang down and drop your body down, hanging flat so you're not holding yourself up. If you can go to your elbows, go there. 
okay if you're just hanging in the middle just relax your spine no matter how low you're getting to the ground just relax your spine great job Good, come back up into the center. And I want you to heel toe your feet in together, okay, until they're right underneath your body. Taking your left foot, crossing it behind your right leg. Okay, and then I want you to shift that left hip out to the side. So left leg is behind right. Shift your hip over to the back leg side. Your front leg can be a little bit bent, that's okay. over across away from your hip there you go you should feel this in your hip and your back we're moving our way up you guys doing okay all right bring it back into the middle okay shove your hips straight back keeping those feet crossed back leg is straight front leg is bent Good, all right, let's uncross the feet and cross over to the other side. Okay, so my right leg is going behind. Shifting my right hip out to the side and leaning away from it. Great job. Keep leaning away, push that hip out to the side. You should feel this again all in your glute and your hip and your low back. Keep breathing. You might even feel it all the way down the side of your leg, maybe down into your calf as well. Big deep breath, exhale and roll back into the middle. Hands are right out beside both your legs or they're right here on your front knee if you need that support. Good job, and then open them back up. Slowly rolling up to the top. You guys doing okay? All right, feet are just hip width apart. I want you to just, just kind of exaggerate the motion that we just did, shoving your hip out to the side. So let's lean away from our left hip first. Left hip pushes over to the left side. Feet are flat on the ground, facing forward. And you can use this right hand to put pressure on the, uh, on the hip side that is bent. If you wanna take this a little deeper, you can lift your hand overhead, but I want to make sure your chest and your hips stay open here. Good. Slowly push back up into the middle. Switch sides. So let's let that right hip fade out to the side. Pushing here with your left hand. Keep your chest open. That's going to be the key to really feeling it here in your hip. If you fold your chest forward, you're going to feel it more in your glutes. So keep your chest and your hip nice and open. job. Breathe deep. There we go. One more time over. See if you can open your chest up a little bit this time. Dropping that top shoulder back just a little bit. And shift it over again. Great job, come back in here. Let's step back to the edge of your mat. We're gonna work a little bit on the back muscles now. Okay, so kind of come down flat back, halfway down. I want you to place your hands on your shins or on your knee. Tuck your tailbone and lift your spine. And then relax, lift your chin. Okay, so let's just cycle through 
just a little arch and drop here. Okay, tuck your tailbone first and roll it up slow. And then relax. Good, now walk your hands out, out, out until you're in a high plank position. Feet are right underneath your hips, okay? Your hip width apart, not under your hips. Dropping your hips down. Keep your feet pointed straight backwards and push up and away. Good. Get a little spinal flexion here. Lift your chin if you can. Great job. Tuck your chin, pull your abs in and shift your hips back. Rock it side to side back here. Okay, so your hands are kind of together in the middle, thumbs and fingers are touching. And you're going side to side. Okay, come back to the middle. Shift back up on all fours and now I want you to widen your feet out just a little bit outside of your mat. Flatten them and again, we're back up to the spinal flexion. Lift your chin. Tuck your chin and we're coming back. Touch your toes before you come back and then sit it down. Good, lift your tailbone, arch your back and then come back down, reversing it. Okay. Lift your tailbone, arch your back up, shift your hands or shift your weight to your hands, and then go right back. I just want you to kind of do a little spinal wave here, starting with your tailbone. Come up with your head, tuck your head back down, and push the tailbone back. Let's go two more of those, okay? Lift the tailbone, push your hips forward, lift your head last. Tuck your chin back down and roll it back. There you go. One more time. Big deep breath in. Exhale, lift your tailbone. Arch, 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 arch. Push your hips down and forward. Head comes up last. Tuck your chin back down. Roll it back. And relax. Great job. Come back into a tabletop position and I want you to just come in here to the middle. We're gonna work on upper body, okay? So let's start first crossing your legs if that feels good for you. If you feel better out here, that's okay too. Or right here, that's okay too. Okay, whatever's comfortable for you in a seated position. Hands are right here on your knees. You're gonna roll your right ear down to your right shoulder, working this left shoulder a little bit circularly. Good, feel that really nice stretch here. And then relax your shoulder. Good, really drop this left shoulder down. If you wanna reach across your body to help that shoulder drop, you can. We just want a good solid stretch here from your ear down to your shoulder. Drop your chin to the middle in your chest. And let's go over to the other side. Okay, so left ear onto the left shoulder. Stretching that right side. And cross your arm over your body if you want. Add that little extra stretch. Good, bring your chin back into the middle of your chest. And I want you to just sweep your chin from right shoulder to left shoulder. Looking over, back down to your chest. Good, now slowly sit up nice and tall. Push your chin backwards just a little bit and as you're holding onto your legs, lift it up. Tuck 
Get back in, come back down, okay, from the side. Nice tall spine, like someone's pulling you straight from the top of your head. All right, relax and let that chin float back. Now while you're back here, look left and right just a little bit. Come back to the middle and come back in. Grab onto your left wrist and cross. Switch it over, cross. Good, switch it over again, cross. Great job, I know your shoulders are sore, me too. Switch it and cross. Good, bring it over top. Look down towards the right side and pull over towards the right side. Good, relax your arms, same thing on the other side. Pull over to the left, look down to the left. And bring your hands straight back forward, arching your back releasing your shoulder blades, relax your neck. Give me a nice big arch in that upper back. Relax your arms slowly until they reach the ground. Still give me that good arch, relax your chin to your neck. And pull back in. Guys, you have made it through your stiff joint Stretch, I hope that you feel so much better. I hope your joints, your muscles all feel so much better right now. I know I definitely feel better. I definitely needed that. But we started with the ankles, worked our way up to the knees and the hips and the low back, mid back, shoulders and neck. And I hope from your toes all the way up to your head, you feel a lot better. Take the time to do this, take the time to do this stretch a couple more times this week, okay? The more you get into it, the more you kind of learn, here's where I'm tight, here's where I need to spend a little extra time, I know what move we're flowing into next, and I know that's when I need, or it's when I know I can push further on. And any stretch is available for any level of fitness. So if you're just starting out, or if you're very flexible, all of us can benefit from moving our bodies constantly, okay? That's what they're designed to do. They're not designed to sit, they are designed to be movers, constantly moving us, okay? So keep that up, keep your maintenance up for your body so you don't have to reactively stretch all your sore muscles all the time, but you are proactively moving and gradually getting a little bit more flexible and a little bit more mobile, which transfers into everyday life, helping you with things like lifting or pushing or moving up and down in weird places or low, uh, low spots in your house, right? It's functional. So keep doing the stretch guys. Comment below when you finished it and let me know if you feel better. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you feel a little bit better as well. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. Thank you.